In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a Hello World example by using Scooter framework. First, unzip the scooter. I'm going to use the name greeting for the application. We need to initialize the application. This only needs to be done once for the whole development. The initialization step creates some basic templates for an application. Now we can start the greeting website with the embedded web server that comes with a scooter. Let's take a look. Great! The site is up. This is the default homepage for greeting. The default page shows some basic server information. Scooter uses routes to manage incoming requests. By clicking here, you can see all the routes currently allowed by this application. There are 14 routes allowed so far. The first route, with index 0, is for accessing this page. Scooter fully supports RESTful-style URLs. As you can see, the routes are sensitive to the HTTP message type associated with the request. In this Hello World example, we are going to create a controller and our request will be processed by routes with index 11. Now let's create a Hello Controller. This is easy because a controller is just a podium. Let's save the code. Now we should be able to access it from our browser. Just type controller name hello slash action name index. See, with Scooter, you don't need to restart the web server after code change. You don't need to compile the code. You don't need to deploy the application. You don't need to fight with NXML configuration files. Scooter automatically compiles your code and loads it. Now let's try a bigger font, for good measure. Again, no compilation and deployment. Because the index action returns an HTML message, Scooter's layout mechanism automatically rendered the layout. That's why we got an HTML page with header and footer. Now what if our client wants a pure text message? Not a problem. Scooter allows you to return messages of different types. For example, we can return a pure text message by simply changing the return tag from HTML to text. That's it. No layout rendering this time. We just change the code and then refresh the browser. Easy, right? The returned text message is not rendered by the layout. We can return an XML message too by just using an XML tag. Well, even though writing a controller is easy, Scooter can generate a controller to make our life easier. Now let's generate a welcome controller. The controller has an action called say it. Scooter generated two files. One needs a welcome controller Java code. The other is a view for the say it action. Now let's access the welcome page. 
just type controller welcome slash action say it again no compilation and deployment the browser shows the default content of the generated view now let's take a look at the generated code let me use a better editor This is the generated controller. This is the generated view. The generated controller is also a module. It extends a superclass, which has a lot of convenient helper methods. For example, we can send some information back to the browser. Simply type And in the view page, we display the message with this code. Now let's take a look. Java programming with Scooter is fun. That's all for the demo. I hope you enjoy the new framework.